Hello there Libras, welcome to your weekly tarot readings. The way that this works is these are two separate spreads. So the first five cards deal with your love life and the second five cards deal with, you know, your general energy. So it starts here. Um, let's talk about your love life. And this is quite interesting because um, I feel like last week was busy, busy, busy. Last week was just um, across the board for all air signs. It was just like um, really busy, hectic energy. And you know, it's Mercury retrograde last week too. And it ended already on the 19th. So it was all about, you know, doing damage control, going back and redoing things, revisiting things, revising things. And um, products that were um, turned in were then returned for us to fix, right? So it was just like one thing after another. And I feel like it was so busy that you didn't have time to entertain, you know, love and romance. So this is a week where you can kind of exhale, where you can kind of relax and kick up your feet and be in control. Be a lot in control with your uh, love life, okay? Um, first of all, let me just talk about this. You've got somebody that is giving you a lot of communication. So this is Skype, email, uh, text messages, phone calls, um, somebody, there's a lot of communication between you and another person, a lot of communication. Uh, possibly a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. The energy is very, very fiery. It's somebody who's like really got their eyes on you and they're constantly, um, constantly shooting you messages and they're constantly making themselves known like hey I'm over here I'm available I'm interested and I feel like there are still work and responsibilities that you're focusing focusing on and this is the week where you're really entertaining these options okay you might have several people that are gunning for you several people that are flirting with you several people that are interest in you and so the seven of cups is all about options and choices who do i go with what do i choose and what's the best option for me can i juggle uh, several people or do i have to be exclusive so i feel like for many of you your this is your energy here you're kind of like in control of the situation if you don't want to respond um, and I feel like you very might not want to respond to some of them because you feel like these offers are a little bit frivolous or the communication is not that great. So you don't want to entertain that channel of communication. So either way, they're saying here, you're in control of these options. No one is going to be able to force you to do something or say something that you don't want to do. You're not going to respond to people because you feel bad. You're not going to respond out of that sense of obligation. So I feel like you might stop communication with some people, especially the ones that are like really uh, flaky. So I feel like possibly Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody that you've invested a lot of time in that you've been waiting on. And I feel like they're showing themselves to be not as reliable. So you might ghost them, you might stop communicating with them. And then I also have fire sign. And this is a very strong Aries energy. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. And this is somebody that you see potential with. Okay. Um, the seven of cups is a card about fantasy, like, like, not even going forward with the relationship, but kind of fantasizing about the person, fantasizing about what can be, fantasizing about like, oh, that looks so good. Like, do I want to go with that? So I feel like there's a, a very strong, um, it's not the, the, the emotional connection isn't there just yet but it's the beginning of something and you have, you know, uh, um, communication that's going to be coming through the rest of this week. Whereas last week they came through, but you couldn't do anything about it because work was, you know, kicking your butt. Right. And so this is the week where you, you kick up your feet and you're just like, okay, what's coming in. Let me text my, uh, let me check my text messages. Let me text them back. Let me, you know, follow through with some of these, um, options that I have on the table. So I feel like for many of you, you're kind of uh, spreading yourself uh, far and wide and going on dates. For those of you in stable relationships, there are a lot of financial considerations that are affecting your relationship right now. One person might be very thrifty. The other person might be a big spender. 
And so you're putting your foot down as to, you know, let's not uh, waste money on this, let's spend it on this. So I feel like, you know, uh, thinking about travel, making travel plans and arrangement with a significant other, possibly even um, traveling to see a significant other or they're traveling to come see you if you are at a distance from them. The Eight of Wands usually indicate some type of a long distance communication over, you know, um, like across the continent to US, across the country, and even in a different country. But I feel like it's not that far. It's not that far, like possibly in a different city or across the state or something like that. And that's going to be coming in. Um, I feel as if uh, the relationships really aren't really yet forming for this month, but I feel like it's the potential of something. Some of you are eyeing your options very, very critically, and you're just like, is this person for real? Are they going to offer me um, what I need? Because I feel like you're looking at their history and you're just like, they don't have a history of being consistent. They don't have a history of uh, uh, longevity. Do I really want to entertain this option? Mainly because you don't really quite trust them, okay? Not that um, they're sneaky or deceitful, but it's like you don't really trust their track record. You don't know if they're, they're going to, you know, break your heart and run away, pretty much. So you're eyeing this a little bit critically. And I feel like, you know, they, they might weave you a really nice romantic um, story. They might, you know, weave you this, this tapestry of like this, this amazing romance or this amazing future together. But it seems like it's not very grounded. And so you're looking at it skeptically. It's okay to do that because um, we are ending the the uh, we're moving into this week where the mercury retrograde cycle has ended so the fog is lifting and you're seeing the reality for what it is and you might feel like somebody is a little bit too idealistic or a little bit of a romantic and they're not looking at situations um just practically okay um, moving into other areas of your life i feel like there is a major friendship here so this is the two of cups this is a major bond, a very caring, soulful connection that you have with another person. I have a fire sign here, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo, sun, moon, or rising. And I feel like this is a very warm, loving type of a connection that you have with another person. Um, I feel for some of you, honestly, it might be in the work front where they're looking at other opportunities. There might be job offers. Um, available to them and if this person were to leave it's going to leave you feeling very very empty right and so on the one hand you know we're always happy when the other person is moving ahead in the direction that they want but on the other hand it's like you're leaving me behind what am I going to do without you? So I feel this sense of uh, impending kind of separation between you and another person. And then I feel like because they're moving on ahead with their life, it's also making you question, am I happy where I am? You know, do I also need to make a move? And I feel in life in general, whenever we have one of these soulful connections, um, the other person is brought into our lives to help us learn. So they're learning through you, you're learning through them. Their energy is very adventurous. Their energy is like here today, gone tomorrow. They're always scanning the horizon for new opportunities for growth. Not only, not because they're opportunistic, but because they are here to grow. They want to grow in their skills. They want to uh, grow to their full potential. And where you are as the Knight of Pentacles is you feel a little bit stagnant. You feel like this person is moving. Maybe I need to move too. Maybe I need to reassess my priorities. And so I feel almost like a friendship that is coming to an end, mainly because of relocation, job offers, or people moving in and out of the workplace. And I feel like you're looking at this like, you should be happy, but you're kind of worried, like, what's what's left for me, right? Um, some of you 
this is a, a crossover I feel here the the two energy blends together you might have a connection in the work environment with somebody that's younger they're moving on with their lives and you want to make them an offer like you might like them you might want them to stay you might feel like if I were to tell them that I care about them what I'm offering versus what they're being offered it, it pales in comparison so you're going through a little bit of a self-esteem uh, dip where you feel like you don't have enough to offer them to stay and so what I sense overall is this is a soulmate connection here it doesn't happen you know uh, multiple times in our lifetime and if there is potential for that and you know deep within your heart whether or not it is a, a soulmate connection if there is a soulmate connection you want to be open and honest and express your feelings and if you don't express it if you just you know hold everything in and you don't verbalize how you feel Time is going to take them away and they're 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 not going to know how you feel and so this is a week that is very faded a lot of faded events are culminating with the wheel of fortune and also with the Emperor and so it's telling you to do the right thing and it's telling you as well to let your heart lead the way because there is a very strong friendship and love connection here and you need to honor that okay um, on the lighter note well not so much lighter but um, on a different note we have here an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn in your work environment that's um, a little bit aggravating um, I feel like this person it's a uh, it's somebody that is not very um, cautious with their time so like they do things and they might miss steps along the way or they're doing things and they're not very conscientious as a uh, um, they're, they're not very systematic so they might rush into things and then you know um, abandon projects or you feel like you can count on them and then at the last minute they can't pull through so that's a little bit of an annoyance um, so this is the month for you to see the right people for for who they are and to see who you can put your faith and your trust in and for you to really develop you know this uh, soulmate connection that you have with another person okay um, I hope the reading has been helpful and I hope that it's direct and it's helpful for you guys in identifying who these characters are so that you can make the right decisions and move towards the right people rather than the wrong people okay because I feel like that's just the bottom line with your energy um, where you might be a little bit suspicious but there is something worth um, exploring here and don't let the opportunity pass you by okay so Libras um, enjoy your week and I wish you the best I'll be back next week okay take care bye bye